Hello guys and welcome to my video showing the top 5 tablets for this holiday season as well as moving into 2016 because tablets really don't get outdated too often and all the tablets on this list are brand spanking new. Now the most boring tablet is the iPad Air 2. This is Apple's full size 9.7 inch tablet. Now the funny thing is, this year Apple did not touch the iPad Mini 2. When they released the new iPad Mini 4 and the iPad Pro, they left the iPad Air 2 the same. With that said, it's still very thin, fast, and long lasting with Apple's legendary uh, design language. It's going to cost you 500 bucks. I just would have really liked to see the new A9X chip in this tablet. But Apple wanted people to have a reason to buy the more expensive iPad Pro. Speaking of the iPad Pro, we'll cover this one now. It's more expensive at $799, and it also has a bigger 12.9 inch display. Now, that is quite a large display. I have a Samsung Note Pro 12.2, and let me tell you, that thing is not for the weak. But it is very good for productivity, especially connected with a Bluetooth keyboard. And that is exactly what Apple wants for the iPad Pro. iOS 9 now lets you run two applications side by side on that large, beautiful display. Plus, Apple sells the smart keyboard for the cheap price of $169. Oh, and also you can buy the Apple Pencil, if you're into that kind of stuff, for $100. Okay, so enough with Apple, let's show Google some love and talk about the all new Pixel C tablet. They just launched this with the new Nexus phones because this is essentially the new Nexus tablet even though the name is different. You can still buy the Nexus 9, but this will give you the new Tegra X1 processor, which is now getting like scary fast, a high resolution 2560 by 1800 10.2 inch display, all day battery life, running the newest version of Android, which is Android Marshmallow, quite the name, and has a much better all metal design. It also has USB type C because Google knows what's up. Much like the iPad Pro, there is an optional keyboard that connects it via magnets, which is always a good idea, and uses inductive charging so you never have to physically charge the keyboard. The tablet costs $499 and the keyboard is $149. So overall, this is a very nice tablet, and I am definitely a fan of this product. So if you guys have been noticing, we're seeing almost every tablet sell with a keyboard option to make them more into a laptop while still giving you all the advantages of a tablet. And the product that is single-handedly responsible for this is the Surface line from Microsoft. And the all-new Pro 4 brings a slimmer design, faster 6th gen processors, slightly larger 12.3 inch display, new storage and RAM options, and a newly designed type cover which is also sold separately at the low, low price of 130 bucks. I'm beginning to notice a trend here, but the Pro 4 also runs full Windows 10, so if you're a college student or want something to replace both your tablet and laptop, this is your best choice. It costs $899, but I highly recommend going with the next model up for $999. Okay, so last and kind of least, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. This is basically an iPad clone. It comes in at 9.7 inches, kind of a familiar size. And then you have a mini 8-inch model. They have a fast octa-core processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM. But without a doubt, the highlight of these tablets is the ultra-thin design. These come in at less than 6 freaking millimeters thick. And that is just insane, no other way of putting it. The pricing is also identical to the iPads. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments down below if you have any deep emotional ties to any of these products. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!